We are live. Hello, guys. How are you? Just need to look in the right camera. I got a few here. <laughs> so, today we're going to do something very scary. We're going to tie the shatter by Trehorn. Um, that's a pattern I, by purpose, haven't tried earlier. Um, yeah. I've been waiting like 20 years to tie this one. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. Um, it's going to be many part. I will not do everything today or tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to separate it. I think it's going to be maybe four parts because, you know, I want to tie it slow, uh, evaluate um, the steps. Hi, Robert. How are you, mate? Dave. Hey man, how are you? I will, I will take my time tying this one for sure. I spent two hours uh, picking uh, feathers from. Uh, I started with two uh, two uh, kingfisher skin. I didn't, I didn't pick them all, uh, but I, I think uh, we have sufficient for a start. Um, it's going to be really nice. Hi, Adam. Thanks a lot. Uh, it's an intro I used for, for a few lives uh, recently. Uh, I'm going to change that. Uh, you know, I, I think it's like the fourth time or something I'm using it. So I don't want to make things boring for you guys. So uh, for the next uh, live video, not tomorrow, though, <laughs> I, I will not have the time to change it. But I'm going to change it for um, next week. Then it's going to be a different uh, few pictures. Maybe the Trehearns I've tied recently, uh, something like that. Maybe me preparing. Yeah, I, I, I listen to my music. I do some, you know, dancing stuff. <laughs> you, you will not see the dancing part of it. Uh. Uh, but but yeah, it's great fun. Uh, so uh, I think I think we should continue. So I'm just gonna change the camera angle, guys, and we're gonna focus on the hook. That's the most important. So let me see. Hmm. There we are. Maybe I put it a bit higher. I think that's good. You guys want dancing? Eh? <laughs> nah, you don't want to see me dance. Come on. <clears throat> so let's find the white wax first. Uh, we're going to start with the tin cell. I'm going to use extra small. Uh, but do a few more wraps than I normally do. <clears throat> and for you guys who doesn't know this fantastic book, uh, a bit of advertisement, but uh, this one, The Last X uh, just sold. Uh, but I think if we ask Fabrizio Gallardoni, he can make it like a third copy of it. It's a fantastic one. So I'm going to... I'm going to sheath a bit. I'm going to look at his step-by-step uh, because step, I really need it. This is not the simple fly to tie, guys. Uh, so I'm going to look at it, tie slowly, and maybe change a few things. You never know. But his version of the shatter that he tied was just amazing. Top-notch quality. However, of course, he used the, the, the real deal materials. I can't afford that. Uh, <laughs> else I need to sell my Mercedes, and I don't want to do that because uh, that car is my baby. Yeah? <clears throat> so let's just continue. So I'm just tying in the tinsel. I, I think I'm going to tie it in. The, the whole part of the tinsel here doesn't matter.
and let's start with the tinsel one wrap two three four and five and then i just gonna tie it in hi fred Yeah, I, I, since you requested this pattern, uh, I had to wait for you. Eh? It, it wouldn't be fair if I tied it uh, when you were at work uh, last weekend. So I hope you're going to enjoy it. However, it's going to be a lot of parts. I, I will not do it in one or two parts. I think it's going to be four. So today we're going to start with the, yeah maybe one one third of the body or something and tomorrow we're gonna hopefully finish the body and the next weekend we're gonna do the sides the wing and all yeah maybe all the rest steps so, so I'm, I'm thinking about you know maybe four four videos for this pattern <clears throat> But I just noticed the hook is not really secured. So I need to change that. Whoops. Something broke. Not sure what it was. <clears throat> Hopefully not the hook. No, it's not the hook. And it's secure. So, okay, let's continue. It's just something from the vice. <laughs> so the tinsel is in place. Just gonna have a look. Just gonna put some pressure on it. Tighten it. And this is a pattern I have a huge respect for. Uh, I really, really don't want to make it wrong. But since we are live, anything can happen. I will do my best to not lose my face. Yeah. So orange silk. And the silk I'm using uh, I buy it myself. I'm not sponsored, but I like this one. It's a French silk on wooden spools. It's lovely. You need to untwist it a bit though uh, when you tie it in. <clears throat> I still have this cold. I don't know. Second week. But I'm the lucky guy, yeah? My wife been sick since uh, June. I just tie all the silk in, doesn't matter. We have to use it to build the body and the silk this silk is a bit twisted so i just untwist it sufficient I 
keep an eye on the chat. So I just secure the, the silk. Few wraps there. Then going backwards. <clears throat> so flat surface. I'm gonna just put some light pressure on the silk. There we go. I started with the two full uh, skins uh, so far, and I have two other ones in uh, reserve if I need it, uh, Dave. <clears throat> so hopefully I have enough uh, feathers. Uh, if not, then I will uh, start to add pitta into it. And uh, maybe in the end, I have like five or six real uh, Cotinga. So maybe I add them just to get that, uh, you know, uh, color in it. Uh, I will see as we go. Hopefully it will work. So I'm just going to build up a bit of foundation before I add my tail. Just to make sure it doesn't point. Uh, to the roof, which is not nice. Just a few wraps with the thread. And there we are. And the pattern states two tails, but the way I do my tails, we don't need to. So I'm going to go with the one. And that's going to be sufficient. So you're just going to wax the thread. Then we tie in the tail. It has a nice flow. I think I'm going to put it a bit more upwards, though. Wasn't that nice to play with it there? Eh? So two fibers just went out of the line. <clears throat> It looks a bit high now, so I'm going <laughs> to change it back. That's good. I'm going to keep it there. Before we add the ostrich, I'm just going to have some 
a bit of a drink. Then we have the ostrich herd. And this is the nice one I colored myself. It's a really short fiber and tight. Uh, really lovely. I like it. <clears throat> So, ah, it's not too high. Go. I think it's too high. Yeah. There we go. Now I can change it. Let's have a bit of a look. <coughs> no, it's not too high. A little bit, maybe. So I just recurve it like this. And now it's not too high. So that's how you change it. And I do the ostrich shard. I think that's sufficient. Maybe I'd add another one. There we go. So let's tie it in. No, cut it off. Sorry. It's funny sometimes. Uh, yeah, my brain needs to process the, the translation. Eh? Uh, <laughs> it doesn't work all the time. Sorry for that. I think that looks pretty good so then we have uh, the next silk section that's gonna figure out how much I'm gonna do really something like that I think there, that will be a nice section of purple. So let's just un unwind this one.
So we just tie it in. A few wraps forward as well. You're we securing it. Now we have come to the scary part of the tying. Just gonna have a look. So, I will try not to sneeze because there's feathers all over the place here. So, I'm gonna start with a few small ones just to see how they turn out. I think I have like 300 feathers here or something. So I'm just going to cut off a little bit of uh, the gray part. So the size of the feather is like that, that I'm gonna start with. So I'm just gonna prepare a few so I can tie them in. They're really tiny baby feathers. I think I'm going to start with five. Let's see if that covers around uh, the first turn. Hi, buddy. Hi, David. How are you? Yeah, Dave, Dave is keeping uh, me occupied. <laughs> it's good. You don't need to be scared to, to write in the chat. That's the whole purpose of the live. So, so just do it. <clears throat> so. Wax the thread. And see how uh, the length of these feathers are.
Nah, not really happy. So I'm going to restart that because they need to be shorter. I need to tie them in much shorter. Or I need to add more. Yeah, we're going to do that. I need to add a bit more purple silk. Else we will not really see it. So let's change, adjust and see how it turns out. <laughs> yeah, I wish I had like a Asian hands, <laughs> baby hands. That's not the case, but uh, we just need to appreciate what we got. There's going to be a lot of uh, fiddly work. So oh, let me see. Now I think lengthwise is better. We just need to get try to cover. It should be thick and dense. I yeah, will sort that out. So five feathers was like covered half half the hook. So I need ten at least for every section. <clears throat> So I'm going to prepare a few more. This one is going to be like looking at paint drying. Uh, you add feathers and feathers and feathers and, you know, it still looks the same. <clears throat> I think when we come to like halfway or something, then it's uh, gonna start to show. But until then, it's gonna be like a never ending add on of feathers. So let's start with those.
So I'm just preparing a few more. put them on the black paper I got, otherwise I will not see them really. Tiny stuff. Eighty, ah, that that that's not much. I think, uh, I think normally it's like one hundred and one hundred forty something. So eighty is uh, good. Maybe he went for larger ones, but now I'm starting with the smallest one I could find on the Kingfisher. So, just make a bunch ready to tie in so we can have some progress between me sorting out the feathers. Hi, Timothy. How are you? So now we have additional nine feathers to tie in. So Gonna add some wax before we do anything else. Then I might have to add some some thread to tie them down a bit. Or it might solve itself. You never know. Let's add another one there. I'm using uh, the same hook I'm tying all the trehearns on, or most of them. Uh, it's a 5 long shank. Ah, 1-0. <laughs> yeah, okay. Th then I understand.
pretty nice coverage overall. I'm just going to add a few more feathers, actually, uh, just to make sure we cover it. That didn't really tie in well. Now, boring feather. Try another one. Should have a bit more there as well. Now I need more there. It's a bit funny, the more you add, the more they spread. But I think we has, have a first layer. But I need to sort out that. I don't know why the hook isn't really. Maybe it's the thick paper. So. That's the first section then. Just gonna measure. Yeah, it's completely covered now. So I'm just gonna measure. We have to tie in the next ones. That looks quite nice. So I just need to prepare uh, like, yeah, 10 more feathers. But then I learned a lesson for tomorrow. I'm gonna go up early and just uh, start to uh, remove uh, a bit of, of uh, the dark part so I can tie them in accordingly. I didn't really think of that today. But 
we can do a few more sections. And then I'm going to be more prepared for tomorrow. I think I'm going to continue with the smaller ones. There we are. <clears throat> I thought I was, uh, you know, do it, doing good and uh, preparing, you know, removing the feathers from from uh, the skin. But uh, yeah, we need to prepare a bit more if we're going to have any progress at all. So I'm very, very quickly going to uh, have a visit to the men's room. One second, guys. So, I'm back. Yeah, my plan is to uh, hopefully get, you know, uh, two or three sections on. That's the plan for today. I don't want to, you know, overdo it. It needs uh, concentration, it needs to be right. So just gonna prepare the feather for the second section. As I mentioned earlier, I see this at, at at least four part live stream. This is not a fly you tie just instant. You sit down and tie it and you walk away. Uh, it requires more, more work. 95% of the work on this fly is the body. But if the body doesn't look good, you don't need to continue doing the rest of the fly. So. So, getting there. So for the video tomorrow, I will of course have done this on the feather I intend to use. So we cut some time. Oh, that was stupid. I cut the stem. That happens.
So five, six, seven. Just keeping your count. There is a reason I have been waiting to tie this for at least 20 years. And I'm still worried. <laughs> it's fantastic. How can you be scared of a pattern? But I have a huge amount of respect for this pattern. Uh, it's nothing to take lightly. So just gonna find a few more feathers. Then we can start to tie in stuff. Let's go with that. <clears throat> I'm an expert on cutting stems since I have the wrong angle of the scissor because I notice this one is not sharp. Maybe it wasn't tightened enough. So let, let me give it a try. No, the tip is damaged on this one. So either I find a new one or continue with this curved one. So I think I'm gonna find a new, but I can do that tomorrow. Don't need to look for that while we are sending live. <clears throat> So now we soon have a bunch of feathers that we can tie in. So there we are. Now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten, ten feathers. Yeah, you got that one. Yeah, did, did you cut it in in uh, aluminium folie? And uh, I think it uh, uh, sharpened itself, right? So I'm going to wax the thread before I do anything. And I, I got hold of uh, the guy making those scissors. So I think I'm going to order like 20 or 30 of them.
Oh, fantastic. I'm glad to hear that. Uh... It's a really good quality scissor. So let's move on. So for tomorrow's live session, I think I need to prepare like 60 or 70 feathers at least. Yeah, so we cut off uh, the waiting time for me preparing materials. And all those feathers are already gone. Uh, I need more. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do ten more. <clears throat> Prepare ten more. Yeah, nice, nice. It's funny to have a, a box like this to play around with. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. I just moisture it a little bit to see how it it's covering the body okay so there i need more and then when it's dry i just brush it out so it's not a biggie 
You also want to make sure it's covering good. <clears throat> so let's prepare these uh, 10 feathers. Oh, that one was crap, yeah. I need to cut some foil with the, that one. So somehow it's not sharp in the in the top of the scissor. Might be damaged or something, but doesn't look like it. But it's it's not sharp. Else I have uh, a few others. <clears throat> the same the same uh, manufacturer uh, that the one you you got, uh, David. I bought like three, but they were so good quality. So you know, and never had to buy any more because uh, the one you got is the first one I started to use, and it's still in in mint condition almost. <clears throat> There we go. So a few more to prepare. So tomorrow, all these feathers will be prepared in advance. I didn't uh, think of it as a such a time consuming thing. Oh, it's out of focus, sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's covered it, uh, quite nicely, yeah? So just gonna be on top of it and make sure I don't add too little feathers because it needs a huge amount to cover up accordingly now. So two more to sort out and then we can start to tie in again. <clears throat> Hi, Vortnik. <laughs> nice to see you, guy. How are you? Yeah, it looks good. Uh, however, I forgot to prepare all the feathers, so I picked them from the skin, but it also takes a huge amount of time uh, just uh, cutting off uh, the section you don't really want. <clears throat> So it's covering good. I think I actually can move on like a few centimeters, a few millimeters. Just gonna have a look around. So 
I'm going to start here. So there we had a bit of black showing. So we want to cover that one. Just want to have the blue part of uh, the Kingfisher to show. <clears throat> I'm going to tie them up here. So it's going to be today, tomorrow, just with body feathers. <clears throat> So, just continue adding feathers of the feather. Just shaping them a bit. So for each, each turn around the hook, it eats almost 10 feathers. So I'm calculating maybe when the fly is finished, the body is finished about 200. Might be a bit more. Just gonna see how it's covering itself, wetting it. Of course, I'm gonna brush it out. But it's covering quite nicely. It's still a bit wet, but it will look nice when dry. No, I didn't count, David. Uh, 
However, one bird has had a huge amount of uh, uh, use, usable feathers. Uh, another one, uh, yeah, not that much, it, depending on the size and uh, I think the age of the bird. Uh, but uh, I think two birds, I got yeah, about 200, 250 feathers. I'm not sure I can use them all though. That's why I have uh, two more birds just in case. But I think if you have the energy, I just gonna prepare another 10. Yes, yeah, so we have some progress because now, now it's starting to build up a bit. Six, seven, three more. <clears throat> so I'm trying not to go with the biggest one. Of course, the blue section is larger on them, but, but I want to save them for the middle. Yeah, so let's, let's prepare those. Uh, and still, you don't really see I have have uh, actually picked anything out of this one yet. It's still uh, a lot. Yes, preparing the last set of feathers. Hi, Jan. Sorry. I'm trying to keep an eye on the chat. Sometimes uh, I get into my zone tying. Uh, I'm working on that. So if I miss something, just type it again. Yeah. Uh. Hi, Daryl. Thanks a lot, mate. Yeah, I'm gonna do uh, I think like four videos of this fly, uh, just to make sure I can slow down the tying. Cause uh, yeah, this is not the fly you tie with the blindfolded eyes. <clears throat> So just preparing feathers to tie in. Deer hair, oh, then you have some cleaning to do, yeah? <laughs> that really mess up uh, things on your tying table.
So almost got the feathers ready so we can do some tying. So almost there, one feather left to sort out. And there we go. Now we can start tying again. <clears throat> Fantastic. So, just going to cut the stems off a bit here. Just gonna brush this one a bit, see where we are. Overall, I think it looks pretty nice. It's cov covering everything, you know, you can't see through it. Uh, it's mainly blue, the blue section of the, the Kingfisher. So, let's continue. Maybe I should move forward a bit more. So you can move like three three, four millimeters each layer. Oh, come on. Yes, reading the chat, couple of months. Yeah, correct. Then uh, you, you're going to see how many feathers you need. And if you lack feathers and I have leftovers, you just let me know when I send them to you. Eh? This one is covering quite well, I said. So 
just gonna wet a little bit again. So you see, we're starting to get like a, a, a bigger body. So in the middle here, it's gonna be thick, and then we're gonna try to, you know, keep keep it in balance. <laughs> yeah, I, I can see that too. Uh, I I can see somehow, like forty, fifty people is gonna tie the the chapter uh, very very shortly. Um, it might be interesting. So if, if you are a provider of kingfisher skin, you should just double your price immediately. <laughs> what do you guys think? Should we cut it here or should I do uh, another section? Let me know. Uh, we are up to one hour and 20 minutes. Uh, you, you decide. One more, yes. Let's do it. So I'm gonna pick out a few more feathers. Easy and easy. Mm. There, there's nothing easy with this fly, my friend. Uh, <laughs> but tomorrow might be uh, easier for your eyes since I can prepare to cut off all the all the, the the section I don't want of the feathers. I forgot to do that today. Sorry for that. But um, it took me almost two hours to pick all the feathers from the skins. They're, they're very, very fragile and the skin are also fragile. So, you know, I wanted to have respect for the bird and, and do it properly. So I picked uh, each feather by, by itself. No ripping of feathers. And I did. Sorry, sorry for changing subjects, guy, guys. But, but, you know, just looking at what's left when you completely tear apart the skin. You have these lovely brown feathers. Let me just show you like this. Uh, I'm thinking uh, bleaching and coloring. Maybe not. Maybe don't even need to bleach them. But the, you can do a lot with this. You know, it's like a, a token. I think you can do like a Indian crew substitute. Yeah, just look at it. I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna do something with it. Uh, let let me show you another feather, guy, guys. <clears throat> Come on, it's perfect. So kingfisher are now very interesting for me because I think uh, you know doing substitutes. Mm -hmm. Why not? So let's continue with these then. <clears throat> yeah, token, much, much better. And has almost the same shape. And very soft and, and light as token are. And I think the feather structure reminds pretty well on token. <clears throat> I 
But sad to say, uh, yeah, it, it's becoming hard to get kingfisher as well because uh, I, I can't find them at all in any, uh, yeah, distributor. Oh yeah, cock of the rock as well. You're right. The larger one would be perfect for that. I think the new coming business really is to be super good at making substitute. I think that's going to be pretty nice. I think that can be a full time job soon. Since look, looking at the amount of people now tying classic salmon flies, it's just uh, it's skyrocketing, right? And people need feathers, but you can't get the proper feathers. So you need to have substitute. But there's just a few guys making them. So, you know, looking at making substitutes can be a really, really nice business. So, guys, let's move on. So, I move. You see, it's not big steps. What can it be? Three mil, something. Oh, yeah, but but that that's a re that's good for me, mate. I would really appreciate that because I need to stock up now since somehow I'm running out of kingfisher. <laughs> I wanna and I w would love to try to color as you've uh, uh, gonna show me later. So uh, there might be a fishing version of. Uh, the shatter as well. Because I want to I want to put one of these on on the line and just throw it out in the river and see what's happening. That would be pretty cool. So I'm going to tie quite a lot of trehearns several times. Uh, I'm going to do the Balishan on. Uh, no, sorry, that's the blacker one. Sorry. Um, I'm going to do the Langsin. I'm going to tie it on a, on a normal hook, not the blind eye hook. Um, I might be able to start that tomorrow. But I, I, I think I will do that off camera because you don't want to see the same pattern just repeating again and again. And of course, tomorrow we continue with the second part of this one. But after that, I'm going to spend some time time fishing patterns. <clears throat> so there we go. Yeah, 
might be able to cover it with the feather I got. Oops. Oh yeah. So I was gonna add a little bit of wet to it just to see where I am. Then I brush it out later. But you see, guys. Hi, Manfred. Uh, we gets. I think. I think. Sorry, guys. I think I go for another section. Uh, un unless you you just tell me, please stop. I have other things to do in my life. I'm watching you, your sorry as um, let's do another let's do another section because now, now things are happening. Because then I'm gonna make sure that tomorrow I do the rest of the body. That's gonna be a promise to you guys. Last section now, and then the rest tomorrow. Because now, now stuff is happening. It's growing. We, we almost got the body. Yeah. There we are, nice feathers. Just look at them, eh? perfect. I just love this one. Maybe I should pick one feather, uh, just dye them black uh, in the bottom. It's gonna take forever, but in the end, yeah, it's just gonna be fantastic. So, Let's do another section. Uh, it's so nice when it's, you know, it's starting to come together. Eh? Something is happening. So I put them on the blacks. So I see where they are. This was actually easier to tie than the black fly. <laughs> Balishanam is not a joke to tie. It's a it's a really difficult pattern and 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 a style I haven't practiced at all. Uh, so so for me it's really you know out of my comfort zone. And I want to tie more more black flies. So I'm gonna I'm gonna work on that. But first, I need to finish all the trehans, or as many as I can uh, manage material for, because I think that's in the end is the the main problem. And I cut off the stem again. Come on. Yeah, I need, I need to get my other scissor ready. Uh, i do that tomorrow. I have a few more. Just need to find them. 
the brand new, never used. Yeah, there is no fair, Dave. Just do it. Maybe a bit too dark. So I'm going to save that one. So another section on its way. I think I need a few more. So let me pick that out. Just make sure I don't lose feathers all over the place. There we are. <clears throat> so let's go with that. <clears throat> yeah black blackish type flies are you know when you're used to you know position things black flies uh, gives you quite a lot of freedom but but still not because <laughs> it it needs to be in place where he intended things to be. Um, I, I'm going to practice that a lot um, after uh, all the Trehern flies because, uh, yeah, I want to I do a bit more, you know, uh, less structured flies. And it would be good to uh, to learn to tie all or as many as I can master, you know, uh, different styles. Pretty good. So, so you know, black is gonna take me quite a long time to to learn. Uh, however, I really would like to do it. So, why not? Lot of practicing, but then it, it becomes easier, you know. If if you look looking at the Rogan patterns, uh, I'm thinking about the older gentleman Rogan style flies. Then you have, uh, you know, the the core collection, etc. Um, the pretty the similar style. So if you learn that, then then it becomes easier overall. So. 
So let's just start to apply material to this body. Sorry for that. So I'm just wetting the body a bit so I know where, where we are. And I think actually I got a few more feathers on the table so I can move on a bit. Slowly getting there, sorry. <laughs> I forgot that I, I was alive. <laughs> Just ended up in my, my own zone. Sorry, guys. See, it's coming together, just wetting it a bit. Let's see if I need to apply any more feather. Now that will look good when I brush it out. It's still wet, so, but, yeah. So I think that's what we're going to do today. Yes, can I change this one? Not that bad. Actually did more than I, I thought uh, I would do. Um, it, it feels pretty... Yeah, it's it's not that difficult really to to uh, make the body. Just uh, take it slow and uh, just pay attention. I tie it in uh, when when you have the kingfisher feather. Oh, it's not zooming, of course, but but you have the blue part of it, and then you have the gray. So I make sure that uh, I tie in the blue part. So the gray is the tie-in 
section and then I cut the, the rest off. So you just add blue fibers to the body, right? So uh, tomorrow uh, I'm gonna go up early. I'm gonna cut uh, as much uh, feathers uh, to prepare for, for the session tomorrow. So we really just can add, uh, you know, the, the whole body. Yeah, I, I'm reading the chat, that's why, you know, uh, let me look like that. So um, yeah, that, that, that's it for today, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it so far. Uh, tomorrow we do the rest of the body. Uh, it's going to take yeah, 200 feathers maybe. Okay. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, I'm super, super uh, thankful for, for having you guys uh, looking at the lives. And uh, I uh, so much appreciate the chat. And, and uh, yeah, I just love you guys. Big heart from me. Okay. Take care and uh, have a fantastic weekend. And if you have uh, time tomorrow, there's another live continuing this fly. Okay. Bye. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>